Well, I want to revisit an old issue that actually is very pertinent today because it shows you just how things have been going along since the Clinton legacy has been started back in say and really started in 1992. Um, this goes along, this is actually more an explanation of how people around Bill Clinton actually do lead lives that are very much in peril, no matter how much they think they're on the inside with them, because once they become a liability, they're gone. I'll just put it to you that way. This is about Sec Commerce Sec former Commerce Secretary Ron Brown. He was the first African American ever to be appointed to that position by Bill Clinton. Um, he died in 1996. He was appointed to Commerce Secretary in 1993. I'll take this right from the Wikipedia article right in the beginning here, just so you get a little more background information on who he was. Ron Ronald Harmon Ron Brown, uh, 1941 to 1996, U.S. Commerce Secretary. He was also Clinton's campaign manager. Um, he was a rising star at the Democratic Party. Um, he was elected chairman of the Democratic National Committee on February 10, 1989, and played an integral role in running a successful 1992 Democratic National Convention and in Bill Clinton's successful 1992 presidential run. Bill President Clinton then appointed Brown to position of Secretary of Commerce in 1993. So he was the first black man to actually get in that position. Um, but there's a lot more to this story. Like in 1996, just a few years later in Bosnia, there was a plane that he was aboard that everybody aboard was killed instantly except for one person. Um, I'll tell you though about the plane itself. It was not some rickety plane that um, did not have the right equipment aboard. It was a plane that was actually rated number two right behind Air Force One that the president resides in even a week before this fatal crash. Um, it's, basically it was Air Force Two versus Air Force One. It had had actually carried Hillary and Chelsea Clinton and Defense Secretary William Perry the week before. So the plane was rated you know highly secure, flown by the best pilots, had the best equipment aboard. Now the other thing is there was, according to the Pentagon, no black box aboard the plane, which to me is ludicrous, but the Marine Corps claimed when they, uh, they were going through the salvage, they, they had the black box initially from the plane, but then the Pentagon later said there was no black box in the plane. Now, I'm going to go into a little why, real briefly, why Ron Brown, I say he was murdered. I mean, come on, you know, it's getting to be ridiculous if you can't figure this out. And I'll tell you something else that's not in this article, even though they're telling you everybody aboard was killed. Everybody aboard the plane that crashed into the mountainside in Bosnia was killed, you know, including Ron Brown, Commerce Secretary Ron Brown, except Air Force Tech Sergeant Shelly Kelly, who was a flight attendant. She died while being transported to the hospital. What they do not tell you in this Wikipedia article is that the, she, the flight attendant actually walked to the medevac helicopter. It wasn't like they found her in the wreckage and she was barely had a pulse or something. No, she walked to the med medevac helicopter and she died a a along the way back while she's being medevac back. Which, to me, that's ludicrous. That's ridiculous. She should have walked all the way back for crying out loud. It had been safer. The final Air Force investigation attributed the plane to pilot error very experienced pilots, and they weren't fatigued. It was a 45-minute minute flight and poorly designed landing approach. That's ludicrous, too. They all use all these beacons and everything else. Like, in other words, the beacon is directing them exactly where to go, which obviously there was a beacon that was directing them to go right into the side of a mountain, which, you know, if you weren't born yesterday, that's exactly what the deal is. Now, um, I just want to get... Uh, Oh, it's to just point out to some. This is actually a book review on. I'm not selling this book or anything, but just to show you, you know, this is not necessarily from conspiracy blogs and things like. This is kind of like, you know, when you're looking at what's sold on Amazon. Now, the ratings on this book is almost five stars. It's four and a half stars out of five stars. It's got a very high rating, and the title of the book is Ron Brown's Biting Body, written back in 2004. 
So that was about eight years after the incident. How one man's death saved the Clinton presidency and Hillary Clinton's future. Because Ron Brown was involved in a lot far beyond even the Clinton campaign. And he was going to blow the whistle on the Clintons. That's really what the story is about. Um, so here's the book. It's got almost a five-star rating by the average reading public. It's not by, like, you know, somebody, a, a, a blog that's geared, geared towards conservatives or people that hate Bill Clinton. No, it's just it's on Amazon. It's geared to the average public. They don't have a political affiliation. So here's the, here's the book, Ron Brown's Body, How One Man's Death Saved the Clinton Presidency and Hillary's Future, Jack Cass, Cashel. Um, Castle, whatever it is, Cashel. But basically, here's the review of it. Um, the Clinton fundraiser and Commerce Secretary consequently exposed the Clinton's dirty, relentless practices for getting financial backing. If you want to read this book, fine. I mean, I'm not selling it, but, you know, it's a plug, I guess. But I want to give you a little more information that the Wikipedia article doesn't go into and how important all this is because this corruption has been going on for decades. So Cashel answers the most trenchant questions surrounding Brown's rise and fall. Why did his plane crash? Why did the White House suppress an investigation? Why was the purpose, what was the real purpose of Brown's trade missions? There was also allegations that they were bringing in Iranian militants to prop up some regime and they were going to broker a peace. I don't know what exactly it was, but there was a lot more things going on behind the scenes that they don't want to talk about. And what larger forces caused the Clintons to seek international cash? Using the case of Ron Brown's untimely death as the touchstone for Clinton's unseemly and unsavory practices in the White House. Now, he's kind of glossing over some things, but, um, you know, they're not really telling you a lot what's going on. Um, but um, let me say a little bit more of what happened with this deal. Because Ron Brown was actually involved in a lot more than just being a Commerce Secretary and the campaign manager. Um, actually, he was under investigation for numerous major scandals, including Whitewater, uh, the De Denver airport uh, problems, the drug running in Minot, Arkansas, the Q5, and the... Um, uh, the, the Haitian prostitutes that Bill Clinton was involved in, you know, a, a number of things. So a lot of congressmen wanted uh, Ron Brown to be fired by Clinton because of all the investigations. He was actually being investigated by his own Commerce Department, which was interesting, too. So at the time, you know, so instead of, you know, going to, so Ron Brown was going to be a major witness in a lot of these things. And he was going to blow the whistle on Bill Clinton. So as soon as he died, all these investigations, they went by the wayside. They're done. So, you know, I want to bring this up because, you know, this is something from, well, it's 20 years ago he died, right? 20 years ago. You know, it's like the same modus, kind of op modus operandi that's been going on forever. I mean, what happened actually with JFK Jr.? To me... To me, I flat out know who would have won the, the Senate from uh, the Senate position of senator from New York from New York versus Hillary Clinton. It would have been JFK Jr. He was going to run, right? What happened? He died, right? He died. What else is new, right? So, you know, he was involved. So Ron Brown was involved in a lot of scandals. But you know, the thing is, this is how karma is such a bitch. Everybody around the Clintons, they're pretty much they're done for. I got to think Uma Aberdeen is going to be done for one of these days, too, you know, with uh, Hillary Clinton. But, you know, the real problem, though, is the voters. I can't believe the number of people that still believe in these people after all this time. You know, look what happened even with Vince Foster, another death by suicide, right? Um, he just received two point two and three quarter million dollars from Switzerland right before his death. He was involved. He was going to, uh, he had a trip. He was going to Switzerland. He was involved in the Promis software developed by Systematics Incorporated in Arkansas, which is the Prime Prosecutor's Management Information System. And it's a type of software where they can actually 
move money out of any account anywhere. Um, he was in, you know, he was also, so alleged, well, let's say allegedly, but pff, come on, you know. He was also the actual real the real husband of Hillary Clinton versus the, the show husband, which is Bill Clinton. Um, you know, everybody around these people pretty much died, no matter how well they were in, in with them and how well they were connected with them. Which to me, I'm thinking, oh well, too bad. You know, I don't really care. Um, but I do care about the number of stupid people out there that are still supporting the Clintons. Now, I basically voted Republican most of the time, but I didn't vote for the Bushes. I didn't vote for that Romney jackass. And I don't know why somebody who's a Democrat would vote for a Bill Clinton or Hillary Clinton. That's my point. There's other people out there. And right now, I see the... Well, I just don't want to tell anybody what to vote for because there's a problem with everybody, to tell you the truth. Um, I'd, I'd vote for the most... Uh, not maybe the most nationalistic, maybe. That might be the way to do it. But the thing is, the scandals that have been going on with the Clintons have been going on forever. It's not like, you know, something coming out of the National Enquirer or rumors. No, there's a lot of physical dead bodies, many physical dead bodies, both the Bushes and the Clintons. Um, I'm bringing up this story again about Ron Brown because I think a lot of people forgot about it. You know, here's the guy that was like, oh, I'm going to point you, you're the first black African-American you know, raised in Harlem, you made it to Commerce Secretary. Now you, now you're talking. You're gonna rat me out. You're under investigation because of stuff I did. You're talking about Bill, right? So I have you killed. Well, that's exactly what he's gonna do to the black people, okay? And that's exactly what Hillary's gonna do to the black people because Bill Clinton runs Hillary. I'll guarantee you that right now. Because I realize. You know what happened in South Carolina. I know where he got his votes from. So I'm just putting it out to you what the hell the deal is, man. These bastards will throw you under the bus in two seconds flat. If you don't want to believe me, fine. Karma's a bitch. You know, nobody, I, I don't think Ron Brown would have believed Bill Clinton would have done this either. Right? Until he found out, hey, wait a minute. In the last seconds of his life. There you go. Right? So just want to put out a real impromptu fast video here. Just to remind you people about some things that probably a lot of people forgot about. And I'm probably going to put a lot more of these videos out like this here and there. It's just that there's people out there that already know. So I'm preaching to the choir. And the people that don't want to know, don't want to believe it, they won't listen. That's exactly, you know, I'm not going to convert anybody anyway. The ones that already know this deal, they're not going to, it's not, it's not going to be any news to them. And if people don't want to believe it, they're not going to want to believe it. But the reality of the situation is, there's a serious body count around the Clintons. And it's not necessarily their enemies. It's their inside people. It's the people they've been buddy-buddy with you for years. It's the most dedicated, loyal people. They're dead, too. <laughs> so, I look at it like this. The people that are actually going to wind up voting for Hillary Clinton... They're going to get it. That's why I always say, what comes around, goes around. So, just warning you, and I'm not going to freaking put a lot of effort into warning you because I really don't give a shit, to tell you the truth. <laughs> you know, if you want to, if you're a really diehard fan of the Clintons still, go for it. Karma's a bitch. <laughs>